Hi, I'm Stevie C and the place to be. I've not produced a video in over two months. Let's call it work and life getting in the way, as usual. So this is hopefully a quick update to the Jojo Babunny LED PCB project. A few months ago, I designed and manufactured an LED PCB based on my sister's bunny, Jojoba, who is now a rabbit, but he's still a bunny to me. It was a mains powered luminaire featuring two strings of LEDs forming the outline of the bunny, driven by capacitive droppers. It could be installed into a picture frame or a reused LED floodlight case, the obvious disadvantage being the mains power not being ideal for outdoor use or areas around prying fingers. So I designed another bunny PCB. I've tightened up the outline and overall design of the board, and instead of 240 volt mains, this uses a 12 volt DC supply with three LEDs in series and a cell resistor network. So as you can see, I've improved the design around the paws and the ears in particular. And with what I've learned about PCB design, I've used much larger pads for the components, which makes it much easier to work with than the previous design. So that's me populating the PCB with the components without making you sit through the usual time lapse of me wandering off shot and burning my fingers and all the rest of it. There you can see the cell resistor networks attempting to mimic the bunny's fur style, which are 470 ohm common types, again feeding three LEDs. And just because I could, I've used an 8mm RGB LED for the bunny eye. I've ripped out the manufacturer's electronic gubbins from the floodlight case and installed the Jojoba bunny PCB. As you saw, the RGB LEDs all start up in sync, slowly cycle through the primary and secondary colours, and gradually drift out of sync over time. This project will be used on an off-grid solar power installation, so I've included one of these inline 12 volt LED dimmers, just so we can reduce the brightness and therefore the current if we want to. But because of the pulse width modulation dimming, I fitted an electrolytic capacitor for smoothing so that the LEDs don't keep resetting and get stuck on red. So at full brightness we're drawing anywhere from 200 to 280 milliamps. At 50% brightness we're drawing anywhere from 110 to 140 milliamps. And at 25% brightness, we're drawing about 70 milliamps. The current will drift slightly depending on what colour the LEDs are outputting, and there will be a slight shimmer that's visible to the camera, but not to the naked eye. Again, this flicker is caused by the pulse width modulation used by the dimmer, but thanks to the electrolytic capacitor, the LEDs are functioning normally. Here is the Jojoba Bunny Flood installed onto the shed and being powered from a 12 volt battery bank which is charged up from solar panels. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more projects like this, and until next time, thanks for watching.